Hello, Troy Enthusiast. My name is James, and today we're going to be continuing with our expert mode playthrough. Walter is back, and Walter has actually been doing some fishing. I want to get some fishing done before I actually go into a uh, well into hard mode because I want to do my fishing trick um, of opening lots of crates on day one, and I feel like um, I feel like that's what I'm going to start working on just in my little uh, in my free time today. So I'm going to be working on that. And I was also wondering if we should maybe take down the, the bee boss, because this is an expert mode playthrough, and it would seem right to actually take down all the bosses. But then again, do we need to? It's really unnecessary for us. I'm just not too sure what we're going to do. I feel like we should, just because. Ah, got some one gold and some crate potions. But yeah, until then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on fishing. We do have a little area. We have one here. We have one there. We could actually do the fight. We do actually have all the stuff necessary. We've got a one there. That's it. I feel like that's even two instead of just one big one. So we do have all the stuff necessary. I'm just not sure if we should do it. I feel like it could be a fun challenge though, and it's not something I've actually done in a in a while. Um, actually, I don't think I've. I don't know if I skipped it in my original expert mode playthrough. I don't think I did it actually. So I don't think I've ever done it. So I feel like that's a really good reason to do it. So. I don't know, I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing. Like I say, I'm going to do some fishing for a little while because I want to make sure that we have everything ready. And then, we'll be doing some pretty awesome stuff. So, that's the start of the episode. Okay, so like an idiot, I started the fight um, early, which is never good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to... Oh, how do we handle this? Because I don't have the platforms to actually fight the, the, the thing. Alright, okay, I'm going to buff up. I'm just going to try this out. Right, should we go with Frostburn or should we go with um, with Jester? I feel like Jester's going to be a little bit better. Um, oh wait, we can't do that while we're moving. Right, let's swap these over. Right, now let's uh, let's take on this thing. Uh, yeah, this was really, really stupid. Hopefully um, it's not too bad though. I do have some good potions and stuff. I do have Jester arrows. It seems to be taking pretty moderate damage. The uh, Jester Arrows would be good because what they do is, uh, obviously, they're going to tear through the bees. Uh, they're going to tear through the bees faster than we can tear through the bees, so... And it's obviously hitting the Queen Bee as well, so... Not bad, not bad. Right, we're average on health. Uh, not amazing. Not very, very low, but not amazing. Uh, ooh, let's heal up. Right, we only did 20 health then. Oh, that's not good. Right, let's try and avoid this thing. Okay. Man, my avoiding skills are not on point today. Never really are, though, to be honest with this fight. Uh, oh, God. I'm stuck in the honey. I'm stuck in the honey. Come on. I'm just praying, right? I'm just praying that I can just kill it faster than it can kill me. This is really bad. There's never a good place to be in when you're doing this fight. Oh, come on. Don't be an idiot. Oh, just die. Just die. There we go. Yeah, and I absolutely... Um, Absolutely terrible kill, right? <laughs> that was really, really stupid. Uh, but we did it, so there we go. We do have it done. Uh, for that, we get... Um, oh, wow, we get quite a lot of stuff. So we got some bee wax, some bee nades, which would go for the wall of flesh. Bee hat, uh, a wild hive pack, which increases the strength of friendly bees. And a brisk honeycomb, which releases bees when damaged. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be using um, for one. What I may do is I may tuck off this. I may take that away, that way, that way, that way. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, that, that, that. And try and quick stack the rest. Let's see if I can just quick stack these. Right, so. The, the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have this on here. On my Cthulhu shield, right? I'm going to swap it over during the fight for when I release my, uh, my B-nades, right? So it's going to increase my B-nade strength. And then what I'll do is I'll convert them back over once everything is done. So um, so that'll be good, right? Let me just check how you craft the beanades because I always forget. Beanades. Oh, you need actual grenades. I pretty much say that every single time I go to craft beanades. So what we'll do is we will grab our beanades. Uh, we've only got ten. I don't know why I bought seventy. <laughs> and um, we'll get them crafted. Let's see. So we've got. Oh, well, bam, we've got 36 beanades to use. And like I say, we'll use them with good strength to begin with. I didn't even put any heartlands down or anything. Actually, though, we do have a bee gun. 
So if you did swap these over, what does that make the bees look like? It makes them look pretty good, doesn't it? Ah, oh, that does look very good. I feel like we could use that very, very effectively. Hmm, I was just going to use my bow though. So I'll probably use my bow, but the bee gun is cool. I'll maybe keep it for a little while. If I swap that over, they get rid of the bees. Okay. Okay, so I've decided it's probably time that we actually go take on Wall of Flesh because I don't actually have anything else to do before then that I actually want to do. I have all the accessories I want. I have everything crafted. Um, I think it's time. The only thing I wanted was more crates, but we can actually get more crates when we actually, you know, start taking on the Wall of Flesh. So I just wanted to show you I built this really cool elevator. It goes all the way down. Um, and I'm going to start building bricks. So I'm going to skip ahead for this, but I'm going to start building and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I have everything set for the fight. I have the stadium built, and I have all my potions ready. I actually went into a little bit more fishing to get a few more crates. I'll just show you that right now. I've got 30, 30 wooden, 7 iron, 1 corrupt crate. And that meant basically I had to like alter my corruption um, pond, and that was good because I got all that done um, in a pretty quick time. Now, one last item I do want before I go into hard mode is one of them piggy banks. So I'm going to fight out this blood moon. And then we'll do the fight and I'll see what we get. Um, but yeah, the fight should be the fight should be interesting because one, uh, like, I've not done it in a very long time. And I say that of every boss fight, but this one is true. I've not done Expert Wall of Flesh in a long time. And I've never done it with this kind of potions because I'm, like, I'm getting good with my potions and such. So I want to see how it'll be in difference. I'm going to be using Bean Aids with the Hive Pack. And then I'll be swapping over to the, uh, well, to the bow to actually use uh, Jester Arrows to begin with. And then I'll probably move on to Hellfire rather than Frostburn. Because I don't think the Wall of Flesh can be... And I don't know if I'm wrong about this, but I don't think he can be affected by stuff like that. So, uh, like with the, the Frostburn effect. So, that's what I'm currently doing. I'll let you know if I find the uh, little piggy bank. I'm sure you guys will see it. And, uh, yeah. And then it's time to fight. Okay, right. Um, we've got a pretty interesting situation. We are going to kill the guide for our own personal gain. But he's standing right here. This is going to be a little bit awkward. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, let's do this one more time. Okay, and let's do this properly. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> right, I do have my... Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, buffs up. I do have my uh, my bigger thingy thing connected. Oh, and it does actually work. That's cool. That's interesting. It's cool and interesting at the same time. Right, so we're almost out of bean aids. Are we out now? Almost. Very, very old. Okay, we're out of bean aids now, so let's swap over. Alright, now let's the real fight begin! Alright, this is the first, like, first time I've done this in a very long time, so I do apologize if I'm not very good. Oh god, he's really fast, isn't he? Wow. And I'm not, I'm not regening much health, which is kind of an issue. Even with heart rate potions, I'm not doing very well in health department. Uh, and we're on to the hellfire. Oh no. Uh, I'm really worried about this fight now. I'm just not gaining the health I need. Because he's very, very fast, that's the thing. Oh no, come on. Just some heart reach potion, that's all I want. I've got a heart reach potion, what am I on about? I just want some health. Alright, seven seconds, and we'll get another 100 health, and that's good. Right, you're really, ooh, really pushing it. Okay, health. Alright, we're going to really take a step back and we're going to try and uh, dodge some of these lasers because this is just not working out for us. Right, okay. Ooh. One of the big problems is now we're coming to an end of... Um, one sec, I just need to make sure auto oh, pause is on. We're coming to the end of my track. Oh, no. I did not realise how fast he was. Right. Okay. Let me think about how to handle this. Oh, that's why I'm taking more damage. Because I didn't have that on. Right, what do we swap over? Gotta be that. Right, this should help us out a little bit. I'm just not sure how well we're going to do now that everything's gone to rubbish. Um, wow, he's really doing a lot of damage to me. Oh god, this is not going well at all. Oh, come on, please just give me some health. Ten seconds? Yeah, sure. Right, Lava Charm there, coming in really, really useful. Come on, just hurry up and die. One, two, health, health, there we go. Okay. 
Ooh. Right, we need to get out of here really, really fast. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. I have faith in this character. I did not have faith in my... Oh my god, I've got such a, like, a long way to go. And not much track left to do it. I'm coming to the end of the world. Oh god. Right. These lasers are really messing me up as well. Come on. Just give me some health. Give me some health. Oh, I'm coming to the end of the world. Yep, yep. Stupid, stupid person. Ooh. That was the first time we've been really bested. If you get me, that was the first time we'd been really, really messed up. Um, so let's evaluate where it went wrong. Right, well it went wrong because... We just didn't have enough track. Didn't have enough track, we didn't have the worm scarf on from the start. Um, so how do we improve this? We get more track, which I'm going to do tomorrow. We're going to completely fill up the track line. Um... We're going to completely fill it up, like, world to world, end to end. Um, and then that way, that will avoid a lot of factors. Also, health was a big issue, so I feel like some campfires would have been better. I thought I could try and boss it, because we've been doing pretty well so far. But it's okay to lose a battle every now and again. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Don't worry, tomorrow I will defeat this thing easily. I know where I've gone wrong, and I know what I need to improve on. So, gentlemen, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, wait. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Peace. Goodbye.